the entire team was in on Deshaun Watson going into the year. We were all thinking, yes, you know, this time he had with Cleveland the year prior, Rust was there. That helps explain what happened. But we've got a much bigger sample size of him in Houston being really good. You know, at least 20.7 points per game every year that he was in Houston. And like me personally, going into this offseason, I was looking at him top 10 dynasty QB. I was saying he's a second round startup pick. We were advising that. Uh, and then he went and scored basically the same points per game as he did in the year prior. And the six games in 2022 is 14.3 points. In six games this year, 14.5 points per game. Okay. Now, I think there's reason to look at like what he did. And like we could point to as the season was going on, things were starting to improve for him. But the fact of the matter is, is that like he was not performing up to where we'd want. I think it's a reasonable belief that he uh, he may not get there again. And his dynasty value has taken a massive hit because of this. So this is one just I think we all kind of missed on. But where do we go from here with that, Skyler? Yeah, well, the f- first thing with Deshaun Watson is he's just he's just a hold for me. Like there's there's no if I have Deshaun Watson, I'm trying to get out of get get out of him, get rid of him. I'm throwing that completely out the window because the offers you're gonna get are gonna be two seconds. I think the best offer you're gonna get is like the 110 to the 112, which there's no way I'm trading a late first for a quarterback that we've seen be a top five guy. Now I know we're saying we got Deshaun Watson wrong. I wish we got to see more than what the six games from Deshaun Watson this year. They weren't great, but he did have a couple okay games in there. The team's record was great. So it's not like he was asked to do a whole lot. They didn't need him to be Houston Deshaun Watson for that team to go out there and win football games. Obviously, I think with what we've seen from Joe Flacco makes a lot of manners like, hey, maybe we should have seen Deshaun Watson doing this. Why couldn't he air the ball out like a 38 year old quarterback out there is doing right now? And I think with Deshaun Watson, the reason I'm still not out is, yes, the age. We're talking about a guy who's still on the correct side of 30, a guy who has proven before, a guy who he was still running the ball five or six times a game. And with that, I think there's just still an upside that you're not going to get from guys that have quarterback 18 to 20 prices. At the end of the day, that's it, right? His dynasty value took a massive hit, as you mentioned, but it's so massive that What are you taking around there, right? What's quarterback 20 at points in the season? That was like the Will Levises of the world are sitting right at that value prop. And there's just no way I'm going to look at the next hot thing and value that over to Sean Watson. I know he's a tough player to root for. I know he's had a really gross three years. He's just been a clog for that time period. I think at this point, yes, there's, you might view it as a sunk cost fallacy from, well, I've waited three years, but I really do feel like you can do nothing but wait on Deshaun Watson and hope. Somewhere in there, we know once upon a time you could play football and he's not old and he's still tied to a lot of money on a good team. I'm not giving up on Deshaun Watson just yet. If anything, I think if you're in a team that's real comfortable and you're, you're asset rich and you can go grab him for the 110 to the 202, sure, I'll slap him on there. It's a luxury to have a quarterback three anyway. You're just playing upside. This year with quarterback, it was an absolute roulette with injuries. If he happens to be the guy healthy halfway through next year, even if he's not, incredible there's probably roi there um so as much as it might sound like doubling down i I can't i can't quit deshaun just yet i mean maybe double thing doubling down but it's doubling down at a significantly less price than it was previously um tim what do you think i think the points per game number is very skewed because he had a game when he got injured and very close to negative points if not negative points three of the six games he was in the top 12 at qb so he definitely showed that he can score points. The problem was it was that they were very ugly. They're very Russ Wilson type games where you're like, how did he put up QB 10 n- numbers this week? Because he was awful. Now, yeah. I, I was expecting a much better Russ than what we got. And I understand, like, it's really hard to get away from a quarterback that's QB 5, QB 5, QB 5, three straight years in a row in Houston. And we're just, we're expecting that to come back at some point. I agree with the contract situation. I think that for sure that he's, he's, I don't see him going anywhere. I mean, like, yeah, you could say that Flacco is going to compete for the starting job, but you think Cleveland can really bury three first round picks and all that money on the bench? I'm not sure that that that's something that they can even stomach themselves. So I think that he is safer to be a starter um, in future seasons. It's hard to say that the outlook could be better or worse just because with Amari aging and them not really having that really defined second um, threat at wide receiver, I think there's a lot of opportunity for this team to get better or worse. So I think that he is a guy that you're definitely holding. 
And you're probably not bidding against a lot of players trying to acquire his services. So I would wait as long as possible when trying to make a move for him if the price tag is a late first. Not because of the fact that he's not worth it, but because of the fact that the situation may change with that pick where there's more more people vying for that pick where then you're getting better value for the return or you're not bidding against yourself and you're paying less than that first. So I agree that I think he's a guy either are holding or if the price is right, go ahead and acquire him because you can never have too many quarterbacks. Yeah, Tim, I got a question on that. Cleveland is still alive. They're in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a playoff game and Joe Flacco is going to be starting that playoff game for the Cleveland Browns. How do you feel about Deshaun Watson in two scenarios? Either one, Joe Flacco wins a playoff game, plays well, who knows how far they go, but the taste at the end of the season is Joe Flacco positive. Or he goes out there and it's a disaster and they flame out in their first playoff game because the the shoe finally falls for Joe Flacco. How do you think those two scenarios change or affect Deshaun Watson's value? And do you think it's worthwhile? You mentioned waiting. Do you think that those scenarios kind of play into waiting just as much maybe as like that late first accruing a little bit of excitement value? Well, I think if we see if we see the team play well, especially on offense where it's like the supporting cast around Flacco is like flourishing, then there could be a little bit more hope going into the next season. Like, oh, they have found more weapons, things like that. That Chubb's coming back and um I'm forgetting his name, but the running back there right now that has found great success this year. Jerome Ford. Jerome Ford is a great second option, and they they have a chance at a really good offense next year. But also, even if Flacco plays well, there could be an opportunity where in the preseason next year he doesn't, and all that that good feeling goes away very quickly. So I think if they play well, then you have this kind of aura around the team that could be good for his, Deshaun Watson's value by itself. But I don't really see anything that, like, can really drive his value down yeah if flacco plays well then like there's like pseudo opportunity for his value to go down but like still flacco's then a whole year older he has all summer uh opportunity to, to even even if you were to come back to potentially you know get injured in the offseason or whatever because when you're 30 38 39 that's a true true threat just working out causes a real big problem with your body so i don't i i think if anything that it, it hurts deshaun's value it just helps you acquire him for cheaper and like you were saying, if that that rookie fever pick, the the value goes up a little bit, that's also a possibility. So you might even be able to get something back in addition to Watson with that first. So I don't know. I I'm I'm for acquiring him. I just think that you could even hold and get get a better value on him in a couple months. It's very possible.